Okay, today we're going to be doing the binomial expansion of a plus x to the n for values of n that are not positive integers. So, previously we were doing, um, we were learning with the um, general binomial theorem, 1 plus x to the power n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed plus all the way up. Um, and we were, we, were, we were doing problems involving this. So the, bino the, the general um, binomial expansion theorem. Now, what if we have an expression of the form a? plus x to the power n, where a um, isn't necessarily 1. So what we would do is we want to get this into a form of 1 plus x to the n. And we can do this by taking a out of the bracket. So we'll take a out, but we have to remember to raise it to the power n, and then we'll have 1 plus. But to make this equal to this, we need to have x over a to the power n. And now we can apply this expression to the, um, the binomial expansion. So we would have, having our a n at the bracket, we'll put a square bracket here just to um, so keep it a bit tidier. So then have 1 plus n, but x is now x over a plus n n minus 1 over 2 factorial but again it's x over a to the power oh, no n 2 plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 over 3 factorial with a over x over a to the power 3 so on <coughs> so forth for x for the modulus of x over a less than one. So let's use this to do some examples. So we're going to expand two plus x to the minus three. Um, and ascending powers of x, um, so up to and including the x cubed term. And we want to state the range of values of x for which the expansion is valid. So we have 2 plus x the minus 3. So we're going to take the 2 out. So we need to take the 2, but we need to take the 2 out and raise it to the minus 3. And then we'll have 1 plus x over 2 to the minus 3. So we'll have 2 to the minus 3, and then we'll have 1 plus n, which I'll, um, yeah, I'll write the actual, I'll write the formula down actually, so that just so we can remember. x over a plus n minus 1, oh, n over 2 cubed, um, x plus, x over a to the, raise the squared plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over x cubed, x over, no, x, x, um, 3 factorial, sorry, x over a to the power 3 plus, and so on and so forth. So let's now put the numbers in. So we have our 2 to minus 3, and our 1 just stays there, plus, now we've got, our n is minus 3, so we've got minus 3, and then we have x over... 2 plus minus 3 
and it's minus 3 minus 1, which is minus 4, over 2 factorial x over 2 squared plus uh, minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 over 3 factorial x over 2 cubed plus and so on. So we want to get it to the the x cubed um, <coughs> value so that's, that's as far as we need to go and now we just need to um, crunch the numbers. So this here is going to be is 1 over 8 because 2 cubed is 8 and then we've got a 1 minus 3 over 2x plus 3 over 2x squared minus 5 over 4x cubed plus so on and so forth and then we can multiply out the brackets so we'll have an 8th minus 3 over 16 plus 3 over 16 x squared, oh I've got the x here, um, minus 5 over 32 x cubed. Now this is valid for, so let's think about when this is going to be valid. So we've got x, 2 plus x is in our bracket and it has to be valid for has to be less than 0 so x must be the modulus of x must be less than 2 so I hope that helps oh no we've got another one to do sorry Um, <coughs> oh, that's not working, there we go. So next we're going to find the oops, coefficient of the x squared term in 1 minus 3x over the square root of 4 minus x. So let's rewrite this. So we've got 1 minus 3x and then we've got 4 minus x to the minus a half. So this is the same as saying we've got our 1 minus 3x and then we're going to take this 4 out. So it'll be 4 raised to the minus a half and then we'll have 1 minus x over 4 minus a half. Um, <coughs> now we are going to, this here is just going to be 1 over 2 and then we'll just keep our 1 minus 3x here and now we'll worry about what's in the brackets. So we've got our, N, our 1 term and then we've got our term plus n which is minus a half and that's going to be um, with x over 4. It's minus x over 4, that's a minus. Oops, there's a minus. Plus um, <coughs> plus a half minus Oh, wait a minute, I'll rewrite, that's a mess. Minus 3 over 2, all over 2 factorial, minus x over 4, squared, plus. Now, we only want it to the x squared term, and so this is going to be our x squared term. If we bring any more terms, then we're going to get x cubed, and we don't need that. So let's now tidy this up. So we've got a half... 1 minus 3x, then we'll have 1 plus an 8th x plus 3 over 128 x squared plus, no, just keep continuing. Now this, this step here 
is where you're most likely to get errors. If you do this and you check answers and they're wrong, go back to this stage here and just check that you've plugged away at the calculator right. You've not missed out minuses or, or something like that because it's really easy here in these steps here to make mistakes because there's so much going on. Um, now, what you need to think, we want the x squared term. So here's an x squared term, but if you look here, we need to expand this bracket, and so we're going to get an x t another x squared term because we've got an x here. So we are <coughs> let's let's split this up into two parts. So we've got a half one plus an eight x plus three over one hundred and twenty eight x squared plus and so on. So that's taking the 1 here and multiplying it by this bracket. And then you've got minus, now you've got your 3, three here and a 2 here. So it's going to be 3 over 2x with 1 plus an 8th x plus 3 over 128x squared plus and so on. Now let's find where we're going to get our x squared. So we've got 1 here, and then we would take this 1 here and we multiply it by this, this um, term here, and this will give us x squared. So remember here that we've got a half to multiply by this. So we'll get a half times 3 over 128x squared, and we'll have our minus... 3 over 2 times an 8th x squared here and that will give us um, minus 45 over 256 x squared. So this is the coefficient on the x squared term. So I hope that helps.